What's up everybody? Welcome to the Locomotion Show. My name is Z. I'm the owner of the Samsara Experience. We're an online training company that helps athletes of all walks of life discover their innate athletic potential. I'm so excited to get this show started. It's been months in the making, and over the next six episodes, we're gonna explore the roots of human athleticism and what evolution tells us about how we can transform our performance, resolve our pain, and get back to being the most high-performing version of ourselves. Let's get into it. As adults, I think a lot of us can look back to these specific memories in our childhood and see the connection between this particular moment and where we are today. And for me, that moment is being a kid, growing up in Switzerland, and looking out of my bedroom window at these huge snow-covered peaks. And that just triggered this fascination with the world of the high alpine. For the years that followed, that really was this catalyst for my interest in training and how to move the needle on my body's performance. I became a mountain guide, I became an athlete, and I competed at international endurance events. And now I live in Jackson, I work in the Tetons, and I'm a coach to some of the world's top athletes. And I get to see how everyday moms and dads and some of the world's best athletes all share in so many of the same problems. And today, so many of our bodies are broken, and science is constantly trying to catch up with all of the new diagnoses that are popping up, from plantar fasciitis to low back pain, knee pain, the list goes on and on. And our response as a society nowadays is to create band-aids. And so there's all these companies out there that'll sell you on a pill to sleep better, that'll give you a vibrating gadget to make your muscles recover, where in reality, I think that what we're experiencing is a dramatic shift away from nature, a disconnection from nature, not just from nature outside in the mountains, but from a connection to our own physiology and an understanding of how our bodies evolved into the shape that they're in today. And that's what this show's all about. I wanna get back to the roots of human athleticism, to evolution, and to using those clues to figuring out how should we train, how can we move the needle on high performance, and how can we resolve our pain? A lot of times, when we think about training today, we're really thinking about a very specific preparation for a sporting event. But that's not how we at Samsara are thinking about training. We're thinking about the word training as being how we reclaim our natural athletic abilities. You know, the ones that we were born with, the ones that our ancestors have spent millions of years developing to hunt and fight and build and cover natural ground. That's what locomotion is. The meaning of the word locomotion is just the accumulation of patterns of movement that humans use to cover natural ground. Flat ground, mountainous ground, water, you name it, how we climb. All of those patterns are woven into our DNA and training is the process of reclaiming those, perfecting those, loading those, accelerating those. That's really what training is. So it's very comprehensive, it's a very um, broad sort of way of thinking about how we can get back to being athletic. You know, as modern day humans, it's very easy to see ourselves as very separate from the rest of the natural world because we've created this whole technological society that's unique to us. But in reality, we are still biological organisms and we're ruled by the same patterns that operate in all of the natural world. And what that means is that we are designed by the environment that we live in. And that's always been the case, and that's how we've developed the capabilities that we have in response to the natural world. I'm gonna go back to being a kid, and I remember being very antsy and bored in class, but the topic that always captured my attention was when we'd look at how the plants and animals had adapted to the world around them and developed these really unique adaptations that just seemed so clever. How grizzly bears could bed down, build a den, and just sleep the whole winter away. How fish had evolved to have gills and breathe underwater, and how sunflowers had these heads that could just swivel so that they could just face the sun wherever it was. And that really makes me think, well, what about us? Are humans amazing too? Do we have remarkable adaptations that are unique in the animal kingdom? And if so, what do those adaptations tell us about our own natural abilities? Humans have run a marathon, 26 miles, in under two hours. 
We've run 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. We've run 100 miles without any food. In fact, humans have survived months without food. But at the same time, we can be really explosive. Humans have jumped almost 30 feet. So that incredible spectrum of performance, I ask myself, like, what other species can do that? And if all of that comes from natural design in just the same way that the sunflowers and the grizzly bears and the fish all evolved to adapt to their environment, that makes me really curious about what our evolutionary story is and how is it that we came to be the species that we are and how can we now enhance those characteristics because they are the foundation for all sport. From what we understand today, our unique traits as humans developed somewhere between five and seven million years ago. That's really when we began diverging away from chimpanzees and other primates to become what we think of today as humans. And the first step on that journey was going from being quadrupeds, moving around on all four points of contact, to starting to stand up and becoming bipedal. And then we developed a double curved spine that was a suspension mechanism that allowed us to be more comfortable and be more efficient as we traveled on two feet. All of that really dramatically increased our roaming range and allowed us to start exploring the world around us. And from there, we started dispersing from Africa and evolving towards becoming runners. And that really started about two million years ago. And that's really where we see the dramatic change and the adoption of the suite of features that we have that are truly unique to humans, those are primarily driven by our quest to run. And becoming runners is just the most central feature of our evolutionary story over the last two million years. It's really what drove all of the changes in our body from the length of our Achilles tendon, the shape of our heel, the size of our pelvis, even the length of our toes, the length of our limbs, all of these things were really a reflection of our quest to run, which was connected to hunting and being able to chase down prey. And as humans, we were never going to be the most powerful or the fastest. But what we did evolve towards is being the most efficient and being able to chase our prey over really long periods of time. And so when we come to marathon running, when we come to alpinism and all the sports that we love today, you can really start to see how that's all part of our evolutionary journey over the last few million years and how those characteristics enable us to achieve the unthinkable today. And when we look specifically at our bodies, we can see how these very recent changes in our life that are accelerating every day are making dramatic shifts in the way that our bodies adapt. So for millions of years, our spines adapted to being upright, to walking and to running. But now our spines are adapting to desk chairs and couches. Our feet that covered millions of miles of natural terrain, probably most of the time uncovered, are now being reshaped by modern shoes, ramp angles, cushion, pointy toes. Our brains that evolved to detect risks and interpret the world around us are now being reprogrammed by this thing that we programmed, computers and mobile technology. So there's all these different ways in which we are accelerating dramatically towards a world that's technological and we're doing it in a very, very short period of time. And it turns out that all of that is creating a lot of dysfunction from knee valgus to low back pain to ADHD. There's so much dysfunction that's just a product of our very, very rapid disassociation with nature that's a part of modern life. As much as modern life is causing us a lot of pain and dysfunction in all the ways we just talked about, we can also see how athletically there's so much of who we have evolved to be that's showing up in sports today. The most popular national sports in America involve running and throwing, basketball, baseball, football. And when we look at our most recent evolutionary traits, they come from running and that's connected to hunting. Well, what do you do when you've run an animal down? You're gonna throw something at it in order to kill it. And we've spent millions of years developing the overhand throw, which of course is why we have a ball and socket joint in our shoulder that allows our shoulder to move in that kind of a way. And as mountain athletes, we're connecting to something extremely ancestral, the urge to roam, to cover ground. And that's literally the same urge 
that caused us to leave the African subcontinent and to go out into the world and explore it. I just think it's really cool to see the ways in which modern day humans are still chasing the same thing that our ancestors did. And in that way, we're connected to our ancestors, to their passions, to their athleticism, even in the way that we're showing up as athletes today. What I get from all of that is that every human being is an athlete, not because you play for a certain team or you went to a certain college. No, we're athletes because we're human beings. It's part of our collective identity. It's something that we all share. In that way, it's our genetic inheritance. And we all belong out there from young to old. We all still like to throw a ball, to run, to climb a mountain, whether you're doing it at the playground or in the Olympics, Essentially, it's in our DNA. Now, as we transition to start talking specifically about training, and people have all these different questions about, should I do yoga? Should I do CrossFit? What about HIIT training? What about Olympic lifting? What do you think about that? I think what I wanna do is create a framework for thinking about how our bodies operate, and then you can answer the question for yourself. Does a downward dog, does a dead lift, does that look like the innate patterns of human locomotion? I don't know, you decide. And all of that matters because ultimately, I think when our training methods align themselves with the multi-million year journey that our bodies have taken to get to where we are now, what happens is quite magical. What we find is that we resolve our pain when we align ourselves with our inherent movement patterns. We transform our performance, not just at a particular sport, but at the root of all sport by improving our athleticism. And that's what we see at Samsara. As a coach, I get to work with hundreds of athletes from across the spectrum of sport, from around the world. And what I find is that the better we align ourselves with these innate patterns of human locomotion, we load them, we pattern them, we accelerate them, the more we're able to build athletes that can transition from the surfboard to rock climbing and every sport in between, because they're rebuilding the foundation of their athletic capabilities. Now, in the next episode, we're gonna get really practical and we're gonna start step by step at looking at some of the myths that are reshaping the way that we think about our bodies and therefore the way that we train. And chief among them is this myth of wear and tear, that the more we use our bodies, the more we wear them out. I wanna look at the way that's showing up in our modern training, the perils of it, the science behind that, and what we can do to get back to being the most sharp and athletic versions of ourselves. Okay, that wraps up episode one. If the dots are starting to connect around some of these ideas and a light bulb is flickering in your head, I'd love for you to share the video, like it and subscribe. That helps us grow this channel. We really wanna start a movement and get humans back to the roots of their athleticism, moving in ways that feel healthy and help them evolve towards the athletes that they wanna be. We'll see you out there. Don't forget to check out the next episodes.